Tommy back uh, on the training pitch today for the first time. And is it a strange experience to come back after uh, after a long break? Um, you sort of get straight back into the swing of things as soon as you get back. Obviously, it's nice to get your time off and all that, but I'm sure most lads like myself are just looking forward to get back and get back on the pitch and get a touch of the ball. And is it better to, when you've had some, you've had two tough days of testing, didn't you? You had some, some work and some fitness work, so when that third day comes, you got on the pitch for the first time, does it feel even a little bit better? Yeah, obviously, it's all sort of about you, I get out there and kick the ball around. And, a bit of a laugh, but obviously the, the testing's got to be done to make sure we're all at the right level and we're all um, been looking after ourselves over the summer. But as you say, it's nice to get back out on the grass and get the balls moving. When the season ends in the way it did last year, how long as a player does it take you to sort of get over it, if you like? I'm sure most people are different. Um, it's just nice to get away and take your mind off things a little bit. It was tough to take at the end of the season like that, but I'm sure we can all be very proud of the way we did last year and then look to build on that this year and look to go forward. When you did sit down and try and reflect, is it was it disappointment in the way it ended, or pleased with the fact that you guys, as a group of players, managed to finish fifth in the championship? I think initially it's disappointment because we got ourselves that far. You don't really want to um, look as if to say that that's as far as we can go. We would have liked to go further, um, but after I think after, after a couple of days, um, you sort of reflect on the season a little bit more, a bit more, and you think in our first season in the championship we, we got fifth um, deservedly. And then we can look to go from there now, and with a few new additions and the new coaching staff, we can look to push on that. How much of the summer is relaxation? How much of it is preparation for pre-season, the pre-pre-season, if you like? Um, I think for me myself, the first three, four weeks was total relaxation. Don't even think about football or keeping keeping myself fit too much. Just try to relax and recover from the season, and then. A couple of weeks before we get back, I had to start doing a bit of work. Nothing too stupid, you don't want to bring yourself out too early. Um, but just getting back into the, into the swing of things, so when you do get back, you, you've not done nothing. Uh, you've come back to a new coaching staff, a new a new head coach. So it's part of the, the job for you guys as players to, to make sure that, that you, you know them, you get to know them as people as well as as coaches. Yeah, obviously it's tough the first few days, you're learning new names and meeting new people a lot. Um, but I'm sure the trip away now on Monday uh, we can look forward to and it's more about, as much as it's about fitness and getting out to the level, it's about bonding together as a team and coaching staff and gelling as a squad. Um, so when we do get into the season we're, we're a tight knit unit um, and I think that really helps us at shown last season we were a tight knit unit and it got very far. Does it sort of a changeover of personnel both players and staff, is that something you just become used to in football? I think you've got to, There's, you see it a lot now don't you, a lot of managers changing, a lot of players changing. Um, and you've got to get used to people changing around and you've got to learn to work with people like that every day. Um, you might not always agree with, with the new things that are happening or want to do the new things that are happening, but you've got to go and make your job. And then we go from there and hopefully it's another good season. I mean, does it perhaps help that Brentford as a club have made, made it clear over the past five or six weeks, I'm sure you guys, the players, have been told about where they where we want to go, the philosophy, what, what will happen. Does it, does it help as a player that the club has a clear vision? Well, yeah, we know what the owner wants, we know what, what the manager wants. and the rest of the coaching staff, so we now need to go and work on that um, as a team and as a whole as a whole club. To be honest, there's obviously fans from the outside need to really believe in what what, what we're trying to do here, and um, I think it'll be a massive help if they're behind us this season and pushing forward into the season. Fixture list came out a couple of weeks ago. As a player, how closely do you study it? Um, usually, just the first game and games around Christmas are usually quite important. You quite like to be at home uh, on Boxing Day and things like that, but not too much to be honest. Is it's quite a, quite a long way away yet before you get through pre-season, so only really the first game I'm not talking. And is it just, we've got 46 games to play, 23 teams home and away, it doesn't really matter when they are? Well, exactly, yeah, you, you, you're going to have to play them at some point. Um, it's obviously, it's a very tough season, there's a lot of games to play, um, but you just got to take each, each game as it comes and we can go from there. You've done a few pre-seasons now, you did obviously book one with Brentford last year and others with, with Oldham. How important is it for you, personally? Yeah, it's massive. Um, I've always tried to keep myself reasonably fit for the off-season. I'm not somebody who can just do nothing and come back in reasonably good shape. Um, but obviously the pre-season, you're not, not going to get your peak in the first two weeks. You need to be timing it just right, just so as you get into the season. You're in, you're in perfect condition to um, go and take on that first game. And finally, you head off to Portugal as a group on Monday for, for 10 days. I guess the obvious thing is, how important is that, that team bonding experience to training regularly and being together all the time? Well, yeah, you're around each other 24-7 pretty much. and um, It's good, obviously, you spend a lot of time, you get to know people, you get, you get to um, make friendships and relationships with, with, with people there. Um, and then it's just good to get away a little bit, to be honest. I think it'd be tough to be stuck at Jersey Roll for the next six weeks, just, just grafting here. So to get away for 10 days would be nice and just break up the, the pre-season a little bit.